Hey, welcome once again to my channel. As always, I am Agenerabo Emboemen. Today is a very special vlog as I'll be taking you through how to prepare one of my favorite delicacies. If you're like me and you don't know what else to do with your maize or corn, well, I have something that you can do with it. It's called the quokka. So here we have our corn that I'll be using. We have five pieces of corn and then we also have our fresh ripe plantains that we now be using three ripe plantains for this delicacy we also have our palm oil which is going to give it a coloring and a very nice flavor and then we have the habanero pepper i've already blended it we have the fresh habanero peppers and we also have our purple onions this is going to take the food to a very different level because it's very sweet we have our um seasoning cubes our crayfish and our salt to taste for our protein we'll be using the chicken sausage and dried fish we also have for wrapping um the wrapping leaves that we'll be using so let's go on to the the, the meal first of all we're going to remove all the maize from the cobs because that's what we need. We need the fruits from the, the cob. So this is how you do it. It's actually easy to do this because the corn is fresh. So you just slide your knife straight down into the cob and then start trying to pull out all the corn from the cob. It's quite easy and I think it's simple to do. If you know that um, you don't like boiling your corn and you don't like even roasting it, this is a very good option and it's very, very nutritious that you could actually use for even your pap. So this is how you remove all the corn. It's quite easy and within a matter of minutes, you should be done removing all the corn from the cob. So this, I'm done doing this. Now, the next thing is our plantain. We'll have to wash properly because we're not washing after this. we we'll wash the plantain when it's not peeled. And then we peel off the skin of the plantain gradually, removing all the deaths that will be found there in the plantain. This process is actually just the normal process of peeling your plantain. And then you have to cut it into smaller chunks like this so now the corn is ready and the plantain is ready already cut into smaller bits prepared for blending so we we'll put it in the blender in the wet apartment blender we'll gradually put the corn first and then the plantain so that the the blender will the blender will be able to blend effectively each and every piece of the food we we'll also add our peppers, our onions, and all the ingredients we'll be needing. This is to ensure that the food blend, the um, ingredients are so well blended and mixed together, even while the plantain and the corn is being blended. So it's actually a very simple process. Just add all your ingredients. In. You make sure that you put a little um, water but not too much so that your blender will be able to do the work efficiently as you can see it has already blended and we are just going to blend more some more and then we are done blending as you can see it's where it's already set to go into the fire we'll just have to now start wrapping you can see the texture we'll also now put our oil so mind you, we didn't put oil while we were blending. I don't know if you can put, but for the way I prepare it, I don't put. I've already removed, filleted my fish, cut my sausage, chicken sausage, and then we're ready to go. And yes, I've also washed my leaves. Yeah, so you have to be able to wash your leaves very well, knowing fully well that they're actually coming from the bush and all that. So you have to wash it well. Then you mix in your oils. 
you can see how beautiful it's already looking it's looking so beautiful you mix properly and mind you you shouldn't put too much oil because it will make the food too oily you put sufficient oil to ensure that the food is mixed properly so you just keep mixing until everything is set like this just like this and then we'll go into the next phase of packing so i'll use my i'll fold my leaves and then pack as we're going i'll test for salt and peppers and even the seasoning cube to ensure that everything is ready and then i'll sprinkle my fish just like this and mix everything so that each portion will be able to have sufficient fish inside of it so after finished mixing you can see the color has changed it's now really very colorful bright and beautiful we'll put them into our leaf packs put each and every one of them and fold them like this while this is done we ensure that there's a boiling pot of water already in the fire what i usually do is that i put leaves just like so and ensure that the leaves are, the leaf underneath is where the um, portions are going to be seated in this is to ensure that the flavor of the leaf enters sufficiently into the 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 meal the poker meal so we'll put each and every one into the leaf you ensure that the water is boiling actually don't put it in the cold water ensure that the water is boiling and gradually put each of the portions into the water and then cover again with your leaf this to ensure it is totally sealed to ensure proper steaming of the food so we'll give it about 15 minutes to to steam and then we'll come up to check about check up on it so right now we are about to check it's 15 minutes and we're about to check whether or not the meal is done just you can use your knife and pierce into one of the portions if it comes out clean just like this then it's done now it's time to open oh my goodness you can see how beautiful it came out you can see how well structured and very beautiful one of the reasons why it's this colorful is because of the oil we use you could use a vegetable oil but it might not be as colorful as this so we we put it now it's time to eat right now it's it's just so 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 good it's looking so good that i want to just dive in it's looking so so good and i want to dive in and know how it really tastes so let's open open it and see how it is oh my goodness as you can see you will even want to eat this is really nice it's really very very nice you can see the fish inside let's open it one more time yes you can see that it's properly cooked evenly and properly cooked you're not seeing any ingredients because everything has been well mixed together let's taste oh my goodness this is nice so this year you have it your walker ready made easy fast and simple you try it and give us a feedback thank you so much for watching this vlog you can please like, share, and subscribe until come your way next.